What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Jeepers Creepers Reborn in this video here again today, Jeepers Creepers 4, and talking about the idea of them exploring how long the monster has actually had its truck since we know the truck will be making a comeback after its previous comeback in the third one after being absent in the sequel so we know that the first time we see the creeper truck is in that original film where Derry and Trisha are driving home uh for spring break and then the creeper is behind them and you know all the honking and the road rage and then you know the stalking them praying on them because they went into the house of pain yada 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 and it was just a typical truck but it wasn't that typical in the sense that it was clearly an older model i think that model is from the 30s but it's doing things it shouldn't be able to do it's going relatively it's going very fast so we don't really know fully what he's done to it in that regard but clearly there's been some modifications done to make a truck like that move that fast and you know i know the the comical question surrounding it how does it get gas how does it register its car well I believe the creeper, of course, is not a registered owner on our on our roads, so, so it's illegally operating Florida roads. Uh, it is it is a it is a driver who should not be driving. It's an uninsured driver. It's probably the reason why in that universe, probably everyone's car insurance is very high. Uh, <laughs> you know how many car accidents that thing has been in. But the truck itself, how long it's actually been around, I don't really know if they'll explore that but if they were what if they took it in a direction that gives us a flashback sequence related to the creeper stealing it from someone one of the previous victims and this is just a memento of that victim similar to how with dairy it seems to have made a weapon out of his out of a piece of his skin that contained his tattoo like one of the throwing stars we saw in jeepers creepers 2 maybe this truck is a is a uh, much bigger memento in in reverence to or in reference to one of his other victims who owned the truck and of course he's made some modifications to it throughout the years it's not registered anymore obviously that license plate be eating you is not from the original owner this is something the creeper has made himself so i know i've seen people say well where did he get that license plate from a lot of this stuff i would say was handmade by him we've seen that this thing is very is, is very good with their hands its hands it's got like a craftsmanship to it it's very artistic so you know making your own license plate custom license plate i'm not going to take that away from you i'm sure you can do that too since you have this again it, like i think it's a 30s based truck the model year i think it's from the 30s somewhere around there you have this truck that shouldn't be going this fast uh, achieving speeds that are really amazing so i think if they were to explore the truck and how the creeper got the truck and how long it's actually been in its possession that's something i know maybe a lot of you would want to see some people also would probably want to know okay well where was the truck in between the events of two and four three again that's but that's between one and two so with its absence in two i think a lot of people would like to know why was it absent where was it between the last 23 years i think i've done a video talking about how maybe taggart found it at some point and he brought it to its farm and he's been keeping it there but then again how did he find it where did the creeper put it why did the creeper put it there does it always do this only in respect to trying to keep the truck hidden so no one else can find it because in the cathedral script the truck was actually impounded i believe and then the creeper is actually reborn and it ends up stealing its truck from those that were driving it driving it and it kills a few officers inside of it or something like that i believe and again going back to just them exploring the truck in itself and how long it's had it if the creeper has had this truck indeed since the 1930s 40s 50s would they be able to explain and give us a narrative that is very compelling in the sense that you know while you might not want to necessarily see how he got the truck when you find out how he got it it's a sequence that will just be stuck in your head now i know i'm using talking points with the thought in mind that this is jonathan breaking the rule i honestly am i'm also considering that they have a better a better budget i'm considering that this is being backed by a big studio so what i'm imagining in my head would probably be end up being better from another a, a different studio than what we would get if it were to be done by these people and what they're about to give us uh because at this point i'm back at, at the standpoint or the mindset of not having any faith in us getting a movie that's of 
good quality maybe something that's at least serviceable and something we can say yep you're better than three but you're still you're still trash <laughs> you're still a step down but sure you're right behind two now but not by much you're still you're still trash you're still one of the worst i just think that's what we're gonna get um i think i think the strongest aspect of this movie will be jaru benjamin i can't wait to see his his creeper truck scenes and see what he brings to the character that's it that's even if this movie gets released i'm considering doing the video to talk about it because i have my doubts on why this movie will not be released so if it isn't released and more details come out as to why this movie is just being you know shelved and delayed left and right i'm gonna do a video talking about some more things that are related to dirt on this on this project at this time and those involved with the project and why it's probably not getting handled the way we all would like it to be handled but with the truck being present in the fourth one the truck and jaru benjamin as the creeper i think are going to be the strongest aspects of the movie at this point in relation to just seeing the creeper drive his truck seeing that explosion sequence and seeing how that effect is done on screen and how it comes off um learning how long the creeper has had the truck would be nice and diving into a little bit more of its experience with it the modifications it's done to it over the years i know it has like these bars booby traps i wouldn't go into all of that if it if it's there it's there but don't really go into all that stuff ignore that it exists we know it exists but i don't want to see that because it came off pretty comical in the third one so let's not open up that wound again exploring how he got it exploring how it manages to do some of the things it has managed to do with it such as how fast it's going is nice if they want to take it a step further and show us where he got gas at one point that could be a little bit of a com comedic relief moment in the movie showing us the creeper getting gas i don't think it's mostly how are you getting gas more so as much as how are you paying for it and continuing to pay for it uh, or do you have a plug that just supplies you with the gas? <laughs> but we'll see if we dive into the lore of this truck any further. How long do you guys think he's had the truck? Would you like to see the origins of their relationship explored in the movie? Let me know that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on postcation, never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.